you're once again back with a wonderful opportunity for guiding you guys in pursuing your goals. If you feel this is difficult, let me tell you this. There's a difference between difficult and challenging. To build a good resume, first of all, we all need to have good skills. And learning skills can be challenging, but it doesn't have to be difficult. Especially if you are passionate about developing good skills. Much of a curiosity for the skills you're working with, and you might find that challenging skills become easier here in the webinar. Now, the spectacular people with profound knowledge share their entity. There is one such person who has taken out time for us from his staff schedule and is sharing his experience about how he has developed his skills and acquired the opportunities and how he has developed his resume. I'm very much pleased to tell you all that our today's speaker, Raghav Arya, is an intern at Nascom. He has designed as a software engineer at Applex Jordan. He has also experience in Amazon Web Services. He also did internship at Prism Edge Solutions. He has done his Bachelor of Technology in Guru Gobind Singh in the University. This is one of the amazing opportunities we're providing you guys. Thus, without wasting any time, I would like to call upon Mr. Raghav Arya to join us, and I would like to request everyone to kindly cooperate with us throughout the program to make it successful. So, guys, please be muted. If anyone of you are having any doubts, we will provide you time. Just raise your hand, and I will enable the mic for you. Thank you, everyone. So, the session is yours. Yeah, thanks for having me, um, particularly Ashwini. Um, so, uh, first of all, uh, I want to tell you like. I'm unable to uh, switch on the camera for the whole event. So first of all, uh, you can take the snapshot if you can. So we can uh, start the session. Thank you sir, for accepting your invitation. I am the faculty coordinator. Uh, yeah. Uh, so when you are done with a uh, snapshot, uh, please let me know. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, yes, I'm done, done. Okay, okay, yeah, thanks. Uh, so I want to uh, like start with the my my in in introduction. So like my name is Raghav Varya, um, and I'm pursuing BTech from Gurdjieff Bahadur Institute of Technology, New Delhi. Um, and currently I'm interning at the NASCOM uh, as an intern and I have done two internships uh, in the software development field. Uh, one is in Applex Protein and another one is uh, Prism IT Solutions. And apart from that, uh, I'm, uh, I'm an AWS community builder, community builder uh, at the AWS and I'm ambassador at Skillstruck University, London, UK. And apart from that, I'm also a Delhi chapter lead at Skillstream Foundation. And I have organized various events uh, in my college um, tenure, uh, like Google Cloud Ready Facilitator Program and 30 Days of Google Cloud as well. So yeah, that's a sh short brief intro about me. So let's um, focus on the our goal, our aim like resume building and job networks like that. So first of all, we can start with the resume like uh, like have like a resume is your uh, kind of mirror when you are uh, when you are um, moving into the industry like whatever your fields. Uh, like it may be a software, it may be a hardware, it may be a finance, it may be a anal uh, analytics, anything. Like field doesn't matter, but your resume matters. Okay, like whenever you are in college, you make several uh, projects, you make several communities, you make several um, different, different, uh, pro um, different different uh, projects using uh, like different technologies okay so whenever you are um, uh, proficient in the different technologies you can build your resume okay so like i think most of the students are in uh, third year second or third year i think so you have no experience i think like maybe one or two students or 
different students i uh, i don't know the exact value so one or two students have done an internships okay so if you have no experience so you can add some your personal projects or your um, hackathons projects uh, if you are able to um, build any projects in the hackathon if you are um, aware of that that like if you are um, participate in the hackathons you you have to make um, different different projects on different uh, problems like uh, real world problems so uh, if you have any uh, several projects you can add them as well okay so like our main task is uh, to build the resume and uh, this is not the end so like most of the freshers face re rejections why because their resume does not match with the job requirements like uh, one opening in the google is about software development so there is a job description like what they want from the um, person like what they want from the employee if you get uh, if you will get hired so what are the skills you need to uh, implement on uh, implement in the company okay so like first of all you have to develop any skill like which are uh, which will be using in the company like it may be a technical skills it may be a non technical skills like if you are in a cs it branches so you have to like if you uh, if you are uh, like if you want to go in the software development field you have to like work on different technologies okay like it may be a web development it may be a android development um, basically a uh, mobile application de development okay and uh, you have to work on data structures and algorithms you have to work on uh, operating system you have to work on database management system you have to work on cloud um, cloud technologies you have to work on the um, system design low level design low uh, high level design so if you are enough skilled so you can build projects um, if you are not experienced person okay so if you are like if you are um, if you are a projects are good enough you can add them into the resume and uh, like re a resume is your mirror okay so another person or another recruiter does not know you only uh, your resume uh, have like so like whatever you write in the resume so your is uh, your re recruiter your uh, manager will only uh, know that exactly okay so on the resume part you have to first of all uh, write your education and uh, like where are you studying and where are you passing your 12th and 10th that part and uh, then you can add your skills like what are your skills like java you, you have uh, like java c c++ operating system dbms and uh, yeah and let me open my uh, resume like I can share as well. If you, uh, just one minute. Mm, share, yeah. Share screen. Uh, so here is so here is my uh, resume. Uh, like I have done two internships in the software development field. So I have written first of all work experience. 
like one in Applex dot in and another one is Prism IT Solutions. Okay, so next section is about a projects. Like, what are my major a projects? Like, I have made in my college. Um, like, I have made file compression using Huffman coding algorithm, and also you can add your source code. Like your code is basically deployed on the GitHub or GitLab. Like you must be aware of that. Okay. And um, uh, like face detection, Instagram clone application, which is based on Android. So I developed that uh, from scratch. And next one is airline management system. So you have to uh, make four to five projects for good resume. Okay. So Next one is my uh, skills. Like I know these these technologies like Java, C, Python, OpenCV, Android, Firebase, DBMS, Kotlin. So these are majorly my skills. Okay, so you have to add your own like according to your skills. So next one is education. Like I'm uh, pursuing my BTEC, and next one is class twelfth, and I have done some training as well from Pep Coding Private Limited. Uh, for the data structures part. Okay, so like next one is most important leaderships and qualities, uh, achievements, sorry. So like this is the main, uh, most of the recruiters focus on, like you have another skill apart from the studying, like you have uh, skills like music, sports, like that. Like even Microsoft uh, focus on that part and uh, it will be good if you can add your some programming profile skills uh, link in the resume like uh, lead code code chef if you are competitive programmers you have uh, aware of that code chef and uh, another one is um, i don't remember exactly uh, Code forces, yeah, code chef and code forces. You can add them as well. So these are the like th this is the main um, template you can say. If you have no experience, you can start with projects. If you have experience, you can uh, add add that section of work experience in which you can add your internships, add your um, company's name, and uh, and on the top you can add your contacts as well, like my phone number my email my linkedin profile my github profile and if you are and if you have any portfolio you have made um, so you can add them as well it will be very very good you can uh, like if you are on call to someone you have to just say you can google it raghavare.2002.github.io you can um, right now you you can go google it okay so th this is the main tab template you can use okay just let me stop my screen so yeah this is the basic idea about yeah stop presenting yeah just one minute So yeah, this is the main uh, idea about building the resume. You can uh, majorly focus on the your projects and your work experience. Like uh, work experience is not necessary for freshers. If you have done internships, two or three, um, it uh, like it doesn't count. Like you have done only one internship, you can uh, like if you have done five internships, it it doesn't matter. Like it matters, but uh, for your perspective like you have gained skills you have gained experience that matters but if you are only uh, done one internships so that will be okay Is, that will be fine okay so next focus on um, like uh, you should uh, like those things you should never uh, include in your resume like you don't have to uh, include your family details and uh, you don't have to include uh, negative words like uh, I don't say uh, yeah so like you doesn't have to uh, fill your family details your full address and uh, someone 
third person um, reference or you can say text someone and uh, like you don't have to include your full details full your address or your life story you can say like most of the resume i seen uh, like in which they include um, like um, their life story as well like i have done two in two internships and two three internships and they include um, like i have worked on some applications some website from they uh, told you the exact whole detail about that internship because uh, no one cares about that okay so like if you are applying in some big companies like google microsoft amazon nobody sees your resume but nobody sees your resume manually so there are some uh, i can say uh, ats like online resume uh, reader okay like some like there are some softwares who can uh, read the, your resume uh, like if their job description keywords match with your resume keywords then it will pass and you get you got the test link okay so like i also applied several times and i faced many rejections due to this mistake only like their job description is different and my resume uh, keywords are most different okay so i have faced many rejections and uh, so you have to make resume uh, according to your job like if you are applying for sd1 software development engineer 1 and their requirements are javascript html css related to web okay like react js so you have to include that keywords in your resume if uh, like the if these keywords are not in your resume it will not pass for further and you got rejection mail so how so that's how uh, these things works so uh like next next part will be uh what i will say yeah and apart from that you don't have to write any wrong things in your resume like you don't know about um devops and you you are writing some tools about devops like i have experience with that tool so it will um give you a bad effect like like i uh, um i agree like if you got the test link and you can pass pass that test as well like when you are giving an interview then you will discuss about your resume then um, you will face many uh, difficulties and you will get um, what will i say you will get a uh, basically bad impact on your profile because uh, you don't know about that technology and you are written uh, like you are writing in your resume that you are aware of that technology so it will give bad impact uh, of your profile and uh, yeah so and uh, you have to work on your skills as well like if you are applying in the software field uh, so you have to focus on the data structures and algorithms parts okay so like most of the students uh, don't have depth knowledge of the skills like they are mentioning uh, on their resume so try to gain that depth knowledge of the uh, skills like you are mentioning and uh, one more point i remember uh, like if you are applying in microsoft or if you are applying in some other fan companies uh, like google so first of all um, read about that company like how things work how things works there and talk to um, like you have to talk to another engineers as well like how they are working like what are their daily 
difficulties they have faced what are the benefits of uh, working their um, what are the work uh, work environments there so you have to talk to them like linkedin is the best uh, best platform i can say so like almost all the engineers all the like freshers are there you can talk to them as well on the linkedin or so talk to them uh, know about that company like uh, i can say like sprinkler is a company so sprinkler is a gardening company uh, i am i'm giving an example sprinkler is a gardening company and uh, rubric makes cubes and direct makes short films so this is if you are saying this so that will make your fun like rubric makes cubes <laughs> so it doesn't matter like what are you saying and uh, like it doesn't make any sense i can say so so avoid such um, guesses about that company like um, okay like j- like i just give an example rubric make cubes like rubric is a it company and they work on various software projects as well so if you uh, if you will say rubric makes cubes so it will be fun for them and fun for you also so avoid such things and create such creative guesses and so try to read about that company like you are interviewing interviewing for okay like what have they been up to and uh, what are their core principles like amazon like i'm talking about amazon amazon's majorly focus on the core principles like even um, i uh, like even i applied several times in amazon and i got the test link as well like i applying uh, from referral also i and i and i also applied for uh, without referral like direct on the portal so i got the test link and i have and i am ab- and uh, um, and i am able to solve uh, two dsa problems data data structures and algorithms questions in 25 to 30 minutes uh, like one is about medium question and second one is easy type question so i i am able to solve solve in 25 to 30 minutes but um, i face rejection for that why because there is a, another test after online assessment uh, which is based on the um, core principles of the amazon behavioral questions like uh, if you are giving 6 to 7 hours in your comp- like in amazon so how you will tackle all these problems like they focus majorly on that part behavioral questions so you have to um, like you have to read about that core principles of each and every company like which company like um, which company you are interviewing for okay so you have to focus on that part also so read about the, that company in which you are applying in which you are interviewing in which you are um, in which you are interesting okay and um, another one point also like if you are making any projects it, like it may be on any technologies it doesn't matter so if you are making any projects you have to deploy it on some live servers like um if you are making an android application mobile application development you have to deploy it in the play store and if you are um making some website you have to deploy it on some heroku uh, aws you have to know these technologies in these times because these are the main uh, booming technologies like aws azure cloud these are the main main part of these uh, technologies in today's world okay so yeah and uh, one is uh, i'm wondering like if you have any questions you can ask also any and um, anybody of any type questions hello i am audible yes yes you are audible 
so if you have uh, any doubts you can ask as well guys if anyone of you are having any doubts the platform is open to ask mm -hmm. uh, like um first of all um like if you have not any doubts i can start further you can uh, ping me as well uh, on my social media handles like so let's uh, start further like first of all um, like if you are applying in amazon okay so first of all if there is a position open in the amazon portal so first of all ask for referral because for referral um, your chances are getting higher from uh, most of the students that which are not uh, taking any referral so try to take uh, referral from the amazon employees if there is a uh, opening in the amazon okay so if you will uh, able to get uh, if you will able to get a uh, referral and you have got the test link so you have to pass that test so majorly they ask in this sd role they only ask dsa data structures and algorithm so you have to enough knowledge about solving uh, problems on dsa like you can um, start with hacker rank if you are uh, if you are uh, no experience in coding like data structures and al algorithms part so first of all choose programming any programming language like java c c++ any like i will suggest start with java or c++ okay if you like uh, you can start with c also but um, for more programming concept you can start with c like some functions some libraries are already built in the java and c++ you, uh, like if you are aware about uh, header files or import files in java and c++ respectively uh, you can include some std dot that um, header file or in java you can add um, import java dot util dot star so these are inbuilt predefined libraries or predefined classes or you can anything okay so in the c language you have to build from scratch like you have to build some classes from on from your own okay so if you are if you are uh, very interesting to know more about these programming uh, languages in the depth in the deep so you can start with c and also is it uh, like also is um, this is fine if you are start with java or c++ okay so first of all start, uh, choose any programming language and if you are able to um, learn some basic concepts of a programming language like array and loops for loop while loop do while loop and um, scope switch if else statements like if if you have enough uh, basic knowledge about any programming language you can start with data structures and algorithms part in which you can um, this is dsa is basically for uh, how you can solve real world problems like it may be of any type problems like um, there is a linked list you can you have to find some median of that linked list you can have you you have to add some node in the first part of the linked list you have to uh, add some node in the last part of the linked list so these are all the real world problems like you have several applications on the your mobile in you have several website applications um, web applications you have mobile applications you have uh, say, uh, a system application so all these working on real world problems okay like you can say instagram there are many algorithms are working for instagram so how they working so they are basically for they are basically using uh, some algorithms so that part comes from dsa like how you define some code how you define some algorithm like okay so you have to work on the problem solving skills dsa data structures and algorithms so how you can start with dsa you can start with dsa uh, for 
like for freshers like for you can start with hacker rank or hacker earth these are for beginners friendly okay and if you are able to solve problems on that platform you can uh, switch to lead code okay so i am also solve problems on the lead code part lead code platform uh, you can start with easy problems um, from uh, like for first two months or two to three months like um the, the, this is very different from each and every one like okay so don't compare to others and uh, you can start with hacker rank uh, hacker rank hacker earth after this part you can start with lead code and if you want to go into competitive programming you can start with code chef or code forces you can choose any platform okay so on that platform you have to solve um, some problems like data structures and algorithms you have to learn different uh, algorithms like how you can sort some uh, some list of numbers list uh, how you sort some alphabetical characters like there are multiple algorithms like insertion sort selection sort radix sort quick sort there are multiple algorithms so you have to learn data structures and algorithms like i can say arrays strings uh, linked list stacks queues graph dynamic programming uh, trees so these are some data structures and uh, i have all, um, i have already told some al algorithms as well like there are more also you, you can start with first basic okay so apart from that you have to focus on um cs core subjects like oops object oriented programming and uh, computer networks and dbms database management system and operating system uh, and software engineering and another one is system design and uh, one more uh, i have to remember more is like uh, like the, this is not a core subject um, aptitude yeah so you have to work on aptitude as well for on campus placement like most of the companies uh, ask tsa and aptitude also like in off campus if you are applying off campus you have uh, you have not uh, prepare for aptitude i think like it's it majorly focus on dsa like it majorly focus on tech part also like uh, if you are on like if you are able uh, let's say like if if you are sitting in the on campus placements you have to cover aptitude part um, like basic uh, ratio some uh, uh, ratio problems uh, some coding decoding problems some relations like blood relations pro uh, problems and uh, yeah so aptitude and dsa for on campus placements and uh, dsa and core subjects of cs computer science and plus system design for the off campus placement that is enough for uh, your placements or your job okay so you have to gain all this all these skills um, this is very necessary or you can say this is very important for a computer science or it student okay so these are the most demandable most uh, wanted uh, in the industry software engineering in uh, software engineering industry so you have to focus on that part okay and uh, if you got the test link also so you like if you're applying in amazon if you're applying in microsoft so first of all if you go to the test link you have to prepare for some interview experiences also like it will be you can say absolute savior for you uh, like if you have previously uh, know about some interview questions so it will be uh, cake on the ice cream okay so 
whenever you had an interview schedule so you have to read some interview experiences for that company and you have to understand the interview format and the focus and you have to focus on the most asked topics like in amazon more like uh, amazon focus on the majorly uh, on trees graphs and dynamic programming co questions so you have to focus on trees graphs and dp okay so this will be like you are in more proficient in this topic for amazon purpose for freshers okay so you have to read some interview experiences for each and every company in uh, in which you are applying okay so and the main important part is consistency okay so consistency is the most important like if you uh, solving only one problem daily this will be enough i am telling you this will be enough for your good placement and uh, if you are not able to giving time to these particular skills so you have to face more uh, many difficulties uh, in your placements okay so you have to solve at least one problem daily on some platform it will be uh, it may be any uh, questions it may be any problem um, problems it may be a uh, easy problem if you are um, able to solve easy problems then you can shift to medium problems medium type of questions okay if you are able to uh, solve medium problems you you can shift to hard problems okay so you have to uh, solve at least one problems in the day and uh, another one is you have to prepare for some mcqs part also mcq based on uh, data structures and algorithms because most of the companies uh, like there are online test as well in starting like first step is online assessment so in the online uh, in the online assessment they asked about uh, data structures and some aptitude and they are all mcqs so you have to prepare for that also and uh, i already told you about cs core subjects like and uh, like for like all these like for the uh, for all these uh, ca subjects for all the system design all this uh, data structures part you can refer uh, gfg geeks for geeks platform if you are aware about you can uh, you know about that gfg if you are not aware about you can search on google gfg and you can uh, find several uh, topics several blogs and uh, several videos there you can uh, explore that part also and apart from that uh, you have to maintain your good cgp as well because some companies have different criteria and uh, they will eliminate as well if you are um, if you have less cgp as well so you have to prepare for that also and uh, in and you have to mention all these things uh, in your re resume like you have to mention some data structures a project you have to mention some oops oops uh, a project you have to uh, mention some development course development project as well and you have to um, mention some core subject cs like Uh, operating system c n computer networks projects as well so it will be a uh, good for you and uh, like if you have any doubts you can ask ask me as uh, like any type of doubt any doubts Guys, if you are having any doubts, please do ask. Please raise your hand. Uh, I will allow the access to you. This part, this part, this piece.
um so if you have not any doubts um like one point i will also add uh, like if you are uh, able to solve easy and medium problems on like lead code or hacker rank or hacker earth you can start giving contest as well like there are some live contest uh, weekly contest and bi weekly contest you can um, you have to give that contest also like it may like it will be a good for you because these are live uh, like there are like these are um, similar to online assessments okay so uh, this is the best way to get uh, yourself ready uh, to give uh, like regular weekly live contest on the platforms like i mentioned uh, lead code uh, hacker rank gfg as well so you have no doubts hello i think all doubts are cleared i think so i will uh, wrap up with a few of points like uh, you have to majorly focus on your skills uh, technical skills non technical skills and um, you have to explore different career sites like google or microsoft you will able to find various uh, resources there to prepare for your individual role uh you can prepare for for some interviews as well and you can prepare for some resources as well like it like it depends on your um interest okay so like you have to read uh interview experiences also on gfg on lead code uh some um there is a button i think discussion part here there is a discussion part on the lead code uh, i will also use that that discussion part of the lead code so you have to read uh, interview experiences of each and each company um, like there are several interview criteria and different interview formats difficulties and different topics as well and uh, the best thing you can uh, do at the uh, like read the interview experiences for the company and brush up your skills most most asked topics and uh, like you never know na uh, like when a question might get repeated uh, in your chance so you will hit uh, like jackpot if you will uh, find a repeated questions in your interview on your or in your assessment okay so that will be awesome and uh, you have to uh, reach out on the like you have to reach out several employees several engineers on the linkedin uh, search for a, like there is a best tool on the linkedin filtering you can be, you, you can find or you can search any people uh, by filtering co their companies by their skills by their tagline so you can search for a company on linkedin linkedin and uh, start with conversation with their employees and trying to and try to find employee uh, from your college because it will be more uh, good for you like and send connection request uh, like there is a option to personalize to personalize invite you can add some message some short message in there okay so yeah these are uh, like these are the major roles you can say you can uh, raise major things you should have to prepare for your interview your career your resume your network so yeah
that's from my side if you have any doubts you can ask ask as well any doubts oh i can see no sir ha huh? and hello i can't hear you can you repeat please sir i think the uh, audience don't have any doubts sir Okay, okay, yeah. That will be awesome. So let's wrap up the session. Yes, sir. With a small uh, uh, thankful note for you, sir. Yeah, Ashni, go out to you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now I would like to express my vote of thanks. I extend a warm a welcome to the people in the gathering. I would like to express my gratitude to esteemed delegate of the webinar, Mr. Raghav Arya, for his presence and contribution to make this webinar a great success. On behalf of the entire NGC club and VIT AP, I would like to thank the honourable speaker because webinar can't be completed without your presence and encouraging words, sir. Extending my gratitude to our honourable speaker to take out time from his busy schedule to grace the event. Thank you for inspiring and encouraging us with your words on this special day, sir. A very special thanks to you, sir, for helping to us and extending your words on skill development and resume building. Special thanks to our club faculty coordinator, Mr. Ganesh Reddy, sir, for supporting us on every event and webinar, and without him, the club is vacant. Thanks to our club advisor, Mr. Tinko Anna, and our club president, Mr. Mohan Krishna, for providing immense support to make the webinar happen. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, thanks for having me, uh, VIT Andhra Pradesh. Uh, so, if you have any doubts or if you want any resources about your uh, preparation or your career, you can uh, DM me on my social media handles also. Like LinkedIn is open and Instagram is also open for everyone. You can ask any doubts here. You can search Raga Varya. So, yeah. Thank you so much, sir. We are very happy to have you here. Yeah, same here. Bye, everyone. Bye, sir. And see you guys in the next webinar.